Hi there, welcome to my site and welcome to this Paint Shop Pro video tutorial on using the Makeover Tools. And this is the Makeover Tool Panel. These are the Makeover Tools. You hover over them. This is the Blemish Remover. This is the Toothbrush. This is the Eyedrop, Suntan, and Thinify. And you can see each one of them. You can change the size and you can change the strength. So let's just do a bit of work with these things and have some fun. We're going to start off with the Blemish Remover. And we are going to zoom in on this part of our face. Okay? Now, we're going to go and get our makeover tools again, and we're going to choose the blemish remover. And the, this is what you get, a little circle within a circle. The little circle on the inside is what's going to be removed. The little circle on the outside is what it's, what it's bringing into that little circle on the inside, if that makes any sense. So you just tap down, or if you're using a mouse, unfortunately, you're using a mouse, um, you just left click on it. And you can see it takes it away fairly quickly. And if you get a big area that you need to fix, use the clone tool. Clone tool is better for that. But these little areas, hey, great. And we can make it small. We can make it big by pressing the Alt button and dragging the mouse around. And so we're just going to do it quickly here. I'm not going to try and make a perfect makeover in this. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you can see up here it took some from the dark areas and put it in that light area, which I shouldn't do but it's a, a good demonstration of how the thing works. Okay, so that's our real quick blemish fixer. And we've got one down here that kind of needs fixing. And a couple here. You can see my, my computer really handles this program well, can't you? I need to upgrade RAM or computers. And unfortunately, this program is not available for Macs, which really is, you know, well, how can it not be available for Macs? What a great program. Um, and it really is. It's a good value price program. It's uh, When you compare this to the full price of a Photoshop that does maybe a bit more than this, yeah, you can't you can't go wrong with this. Okay, let's zoom out and see how we are. Okay, so her skin looks better now. I mean, she's a fine-looking young lass anyways, but, uh, you know, we've got her uh, looking even a bit better. Okay, so that is... The, uh, the first one. The second one is the toothbrush. And we'll zoom in on the teeth. And this is a this is a learning opportunity on the teeth. Because the way you use it is that you just tap on the area, or you left click on the area if you insist, uh, using a mouse. And it, and it whitens it up. You can see how it does it nicely. But you see that last time it also whitened the glow on our lips. You don't want that because you get weird looking things. So what you have to do to get around that is grab your marquee tool, your selection marquee, and make a quick selection around the area you want to lighten. Get your makeover tool again, and now you're going to be doing only in the selection. Right? Right. And we'll get this here. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. I don't know what this thing is. Maybe she's missing a tooth. Okay, so now our teeth are getting impossibly and ridiculously white, like you see on ads and movies and commercials and stuff. So we'll select none, control D, and we'll zoom out. Okay, so now she's got these ridiculously white teeth. The next tool in this group, see this thing leaping all over the place, is the eyedropper. The eyedropper does pretty much the same thing as the toothbrush it lightens the picture. I can't move. So again, we're going to zoom in on an eye. We are going to bring it down a bit so it's centered nicely. Grab our tool here, and you can see it's going to do the same thing. The first time I did it, it took a bit out from underneath the eyebrow there. So we're going to back up. We're going to back up. And then we're going to take a selection. We'll just take it around here. See how much easier this is with a pen? You can get around quickly. And I need to be able to get around quickly. Uh, back to our tools. And we just tap, 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 tap in here. So the pressure sensitivity of the tablet is not really in question at this point. It's the uh, the ability to use the tools and to get around b making a selection quickly. 
without struggling with a mouse. Okay, so we're going to come here, across the bottom, up here, and around. Boom. I'm sure there are people who can use a mouse as well as I can use a pen, but uh, not that many. Okay, now we're going to do this one. And again, we're going to have ridiculously whites of her eyes. Okay, so now let's zoom out, see how we're doing here. Aye, 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 we have a rogue selection here. Get rid of that. Okay, so now her eyes are, are looking a wee bit better. Now, the next one is called the suntan. Now, the suntan takes time, and I'm not going to take a lot of time to do it, so I'm going to suntan her shoulder here, okay? I'm sure you won't mind if I suntan her shoulder, because it's a small area. There, there's her shoulder. And, uh... Make the brush a bit smaller. Now, I've got the strength of this at 68, so it's fairly strong. Brush size is 11. You can see now it's just adding that bit of tan in there. And again, when you're doing a something like this, you're going to take time to do it right. Um, you're not going to be hurrying to get it in under a certain period of minutes, which I am doing. Okay, so now she's got a beautifully suntan shoulder. Oh, we missed some. There we go. Now her, her shoulder is nicely tanned. Okay, so then the last one is thinify, which is a strange one because she doesn't need any thinifying. But if I just click on her nose here, it'll pull her in. There, there we go. So that is using the makeover tools. They're fairly easy, fairly straightforward, and they do a pretty good job. Now, what I want to do is one more thing, two more things, actually. I'm going to do skin smoothing. And this is a skin smoothing palette. And this is the strength. This is where you make otherworldly skin on, on someone. See, look at that. I mean, that's amazing. That's at a strength of 83. Probably it's more realistic to be down around here, uh, where there's maybe a bit of texture left in her skin. But you know, we might as well just go for the gusto and have it really smooth, because this is a tutorial on how to use it, not a tutorial on um, is it true or not. Okay, so we can it's previewed on image, which I won't show you. There we go. Let's hit OK. And it's going to apply that there. Whoa, look at that, huh? Whew. Okay, now, the problem is that her eyes, her eyebrows, her mouth, her hair has all been smoothed out. Now we have another group of tools here called a group of tools. And I am going to use the sharpen one. And this is the sharpen brush. And this is its little palette. Now it's way too big. So you can see it's coming down in size. Steps 10. Steps are, I don't know what they are. So don't ask. Okay, so now we're just going to bring back the eye to its, its former sharpness. And we will bring back the eyebrow to its former sharpness. Bring this eye out. And that's really cool. Now I'm going to pan down to her teeth and lips. And get them back the way they belong or where they were originally. The alternate way to do this would be to select her teeth, lips, and eyes earlier in the procedure and put them onto a new layer. And and don't do anything to that layer. And turn it off, do your work, then turn the layer on and you'll have those nice sharp teeth and lips and eyes. And maybe a bit around the nose too, just because we can. Okay, so let's get back to our 100% view here. There we go. Looking okay. Got a little bit of suntan, nice smooth skin, the blemishes are all gone, her eyes and eyebrows, mouth and teeth are all kind of sharp, so that's how you do it. It's really a cool technique. So give it a try. I think you'll really like it, because PaintShop Pro is a pretty good program. I do appreciate you watching. If you found this on one of the video sites, visit my site, www.the-graphics-tablet.com, and you'll find this tutorial under the PaintShop Pro tab. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it.